Because we're all monster fans of breakfast, we're making the classic bacon, egg, and cheese, but way damn better. And because we can't agree on what version to make, scrambled egg versus a runny yolk version, we're gonna do two. All the other components will be the same, including the brown sugar, hot honey, bourbon, black pepper bacon that we'll be making. Oh damn it, it's gonna be so good. And all the rest will just fall into place. Oh, we're caramelizing shallots. And there's gonna be garlic aioli and damn, there's gonna be a, a, a layer of beautiful sauteed spinach. Uh, oh wait, sorry, I forgot, Max nixed the spinach. I don't really think spinach belongs in a bacon, egg, and cheese. I don't know, it looks just kind of gross at the bottom. Now nobody will remember this. Hey, bacon, so, egg, and cheese, and sauteed spinach. So, I lo look, say, look, I right? like spinach. But what that voice just reminded me of was Andy Rooney from 60 Minutes, that you're all way too young to remember. Get your parents around the, uh, the screen right now. Let me do a little Andy Rooney. <clears throat> What is it about pencils? I don't understand that rubber tip on the back end. Who uses a typewriter anymore? When do they decide that brakes were the right thing to put at the right foot pedal in a car? I prefer to use my left foot. That's a fucking great Andy Rooney. <laughs> it really is. You guys have any idea who he is? No, uh, but I'm sure that yes. was amazing. It was amazing. Thank you, Chance. <laughs> Chance is such a sweet guy. You really are. Uh, okay, the bacon's got to go in the oven first because can't do anything without it. So we'll start here. And there may or may not be a little bit of bourbon in his tea. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Maybe. No. Uh, maybe a little. Uh, it seemed like a good idea to throw a little makers in with this. Let me just tell you if it's any good. Yep, it's very good. All right, so here's all this uh, bacon thing happens. In goes, uh, what's this? Two tablespoons of brown sugar. To that, we will add an equal amount of hot honey. Oh, it's a thing these days, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, you want to get your hands on some because it's crazy delicious. I'll cover up this brand, but I'll show you, look, spicy honey. Beautiful. Go look for it. You have it on the uh, charcuterie boards at Gray's. We do. We use a version. Uh, we use Mike's Hot Honey at uh, Gray's on our charcuterie boards. Okay. And now to thin this a bit, some bourbon. Probably shouldn't use too much because it is going into an oven. So let's go two tablespoons of this and see if this makes a spreadable thing. And it does. Beauteous. Mix it really well. Get those chunks out. Work in the brown sugar. Work it, work it. I think this is good, okay. Now, the bacon. My favorite way to cook bacon is in about a 375 degree oven on a baking sheet on a rack. It stays flat, doesn't curl up. You don't have to flip it, it's perfect. So, we've got bacon. Looks like a, thank you. All right, easy open pack. Why would they make this? like this if if you can't what's the fucking point of that all the corners you can peel back look peel back get a little bit looks like it they suck you in and nothing piece of shit. i hate these people right this minute okay it's fine so we're only making two and this is thick cut bacon look how thick this is that's glorious isn't it i mean i don't think we're gonna need more than two pieces, but I'll make four just because I think we, okay, fine, five. What if we want to have some? Is that a bad thing? Oh, no. How could that be bad? Not bad. Spread it out. All right, now we paint. We go like this. Oh, this is glorious. Each piece. We're going to flip it. I smell the bourbon. I'm getting a little brown sugar. Honey's just in there doing its thing. Okay, we turn these kids over. And I'll do this. We'll start on that side this time. Gorgeous, okay. All right, so this is perfect. Last thing, all right, some fresh cracked black pepper. And that will look like this. And I do like peppery bacon. So give it kind of a decent amount. Don't forget, it's not like you're gonna be eating these by themselves, though we might. It's gonna be in a bagel. 
with a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're thinking, oh, too much pepper, Sam, and start crying about it, stop crying. It's going to be fine. All right, it's ready to go in the oven. This is what it looks like. It smells fantastic. Okay, 375, 400 degree oven, doesn't really matter. Keep your eyes on it. It's going to be done when it's done. If I told you it was like 35, 40 minutes and it didn't look cooked because your oven might not be exact, then put it in for a little bit more. Let me put this in, come back, and we continue. Cool? Cool. Cool. Next up is a shallot for caramelizing. So let's do this. Uh, let's get this guy peeled up. Oh boy. You know, the shallot industry really needs to work on getting rid of all this nonsense. Wouldn't you say? They can make a seedless watermelon. Thank you. Come on, how about this? Look, I suppose we didn't have to show this. We could have just started with it, but this is a giant freaking shallot. They've been very big at the store lately. I don't know what's going on. Perfect. It's beautiful. Here's what I want. This. I want shallot circles. Oh, we're going to break them apart. That is a huge shallot. It's like the size of a potato. I've never seen one No, that it's a fucking small. gigantic shallot. All right, when you got it all cut up, separate the circles like this. Beautiful. I like a shallot. I like any onion. And when you're separated enough, let's uh, get them in a pan. Cool? Yeah. Cool. All right. We'll begin our shallots with a little butter in the pan, a little shot of avocado oil. Give it a quick stir around. And the onions go in. Shallots? And the shallots go in. They are technically onions, but yes, shallots. You do not have to be this anal about breaking up the rings, but I like it. Okay, so we're gonna cook this not hot, medium-ish. And it's gonna be 15, 20 minutes before this starts to get some nice color. And we want the nice color. Because the color is when the sweetness starts to come out of them. And the flavor goes way up. Let's break apart the little guys that haven't separated yet. Let it do its thing. In the meantime, let's make a little garlic aioli. So you've seen me talk about Theragun before, right? It's the handheld percussive device that releases deep muscle tension. We love it, it's amazing. When are you gonna use this? You know, after a workout, after a run, after a long day, you come home, your shoulders are all jacked up, your legs, your, your calves, and what's amazing is the handle that they've built with this lets you get every part, oh, oh God, sorry, give me a second. Every part of your body, it is so good, but I found a new way to use this, it's, first thing in the morning. Now look, maybe it's me because I'm, okay, I'm getting up there in age, nobody say anything. But I've found lately that when I wake up, little coffee, get back into bed, and I give myself the most relaxing, gentle, deep tissue massage. That's how I like to start my day. And I think this is how you would like to start your day, finish your day, finish a workout, a bike ride, that kind of stuff. Restaurant workers on your feet all day long, dealing with mean people a lot of the time, we've talked about them recently. This is the answer, this is your best friend. So this is the Gen 4 and the, the shape of it and the OLED screen honestly make you feel like you've got something from the future. Choo, 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 except you're helping yourself at the same time, you're having fun playing with it. You can try the Theragun for 30 days, starting at only $199. That's crazy. So go to theragun.com slash Sam right now and get your Gen 4 Theragun today. That's theragun.com slash Sam, theragun.com slash Sam. Let me say one thing. This is a QP Japanese mail, you know I'm a fan of it. It's actually not true. I'm in love with it. We're all in love with it. We think it's the best. At a Asian supermarket, Japanese, Chinese, they all have it, Korean. This is probably five bucks. I don't have one close and I've run out. Well, clearly not now, but I had run out and, and I hadn't gotten to one. And I've not been buying it on Amazon because it looks like it's been too much money. But I did find these two packs for 18 bucks, nine bucks each, four bucks more. Uh, yes, it's more, but if you don't have a store close enough, look on Amazon, but, 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 really scope them out because this was as cheap as I've seen them. So I bought six actually. So, so that's just a tip. All right, uh, the onions, sorry, the shallots, 
Max actually left. There is nobody standing behind this camera right now. I don't know what he's doing. Look, thank you, Chance. There's, I'm oh, back. I'm back. you decided to, what the hell were you the doing? The wind is crazy today. I'm just trying to. Oh, this is our new blackout system. Look, uh, we've had trouble with lighting and we've had these, just a shit bunch of stuff keeping light out. But now we bought these and look, we come in, we put them down, we leave, we put them up. The only problem is, is that wind. We've never had wind in this backyard until we got these things. And what happens is they, they bang around, so. But it's a good system, and it was my idea. And there's probably somebody out there going, oh, you should have had the Jacob system. That would work like this. Well, guess what? That person wasn't here telling me, so this is what we got. All right, let's make aioli. But first look at the shallots, or as the Brits call them, shallots. See this, this golden part here? That's what we're going for. We want more of this. So we're getting there. They'll go back on. But stay here. Let's make this quick aioli. So we begin with our bowl. Some of our beloved Japanese mayo. Oh, kids next door having fun. Or not. Uh, I like some parsley because I like the, what it does to the color. Or not. That's a little dark. <laughs> wow, no, it could have it could have gone bad. A uh, pinch of salt and pepper. And I said garlic aioli. And we're using Chance and my favorite. Roasted garlic stir and paste. Yeah, because only you and Chance like it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I do feel like there was a moment when I talked about it, and I said, we like this, boys, and you were off doing something, and you didn't pipe up. And now, clearly, Chance and I need to get more, because we're now out. And we mix. Wait, flip up to my shirt for a second. Brand new version of the t-shirt, uh, makeamericacook.com. That's what it is, right? Yes. Makeamericacook.com, <laughs> and this is this is there. I love it. And my my pop socket. I mean, there's lots of stuff there, but and we had a request today for hats. I think we have one hat. We need more. We need something good, something bold. And the guy who said get hats said, got to be a good hat. Don't make it a shitty hat. Which we got to rework that because I was planning on shitty hats. So, <laughs> all right, we continue mixing this. Yum. Oh boy. That's going on the bottom of the bacon, egg, cheese. Damn. Or getting crammed down that kid's throat next door that's doing all the screaming. Kidding, kidding. I thought the bacon was ready. And it's ready. And it's pretty. And it's gorgeous. And I said, we need to have a little taste of it. Max went, ah, we're making two sandwiches. Ah, don't worry about it, crybaby. Let's just have a little piece. Hey, I'm not the crybaby. I have a custom Sam emoji crying because you are always crying. Stop it, I'm not. Here we go. Max and Chance. But I'll take this little corner burnt piece because that's how I am. Go. Oh my God. Damn. Damn, right? And the last thing you get is that pepper. The pepper was the right thing. And by the way, what did I promise? Look here, Max. I promised perfect bacon, flat, not curled up. I also said 400 degrees-ish, 35 to 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. This was 38. Oh boy, that's gonna make this BEC incredible. All right, I think we can start. All right, so here's what we're doing. Two pans, scrambled egg here, the, the runny yolk egg here. And I'm using pork fat to do this because why the hell not? I don't need this one quite yet, but I'm gonna get there. Let me just get this going first. Wow, do you know how good this is gonna be? Yes, you do. It's gonna be tremendous. So let's take and crack some eggs in here. No shell, please. Oh my God, it totally got away from me. Holy shit, look what's happened. Oh God, this is the worst day ever. Shit ass. And now it's starting to cook too much. Oh my God, why did I get so violent with that crack? Did I get it? Oh my God. I know, I listen, I'm not happy with what's happening here right now. It's all just gotten away from me. But I can't find my spatula thing. There's my spatula, I think I have shell in here. No, nope, maybe I got it. No, that's definitely shell there. Well, those kids are gonna get a talking to by me in a minute. And one more egg. Okay. Oh my God. What happened? Look at the oh, for shit's sakes. Okay, salt and pepper. Gosh. I'm trying to go for slow scrambled egg here. And look, I'm just making a damn mess. Oh, see that? I just saw a piece of shell. Oh my God, somebody's getting shell, there it is. Son of a bitch. 
was just talking to somebody today. They said, you know what? We really feel like it's real cooking when you make mistakes. And I said, so you feel like it's real cooking every day? He said, yes. Okay, I'm pulling this off the heat. I had too much heat. Now I want to start this other egg or it's never going to happen. So more pork, fat. Gorgeous, right? Now this one I got to do up in the middle of the Evo because the Evo slants to the side and I don't want to, I don't want to lose control. So let's do this. We'll take one egg. We'll crack it in here. Oh my God. And it broke. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Try and get it centered a little better. Like that, that's what I want, like that, okay? Finally, a little salt and pepper. Bring back my other one. Still, look, I say slow scrambled because when you pull it off, it stops, it really stops. I wanna add some chives to this. Like the little beautiful pop of color. Of course, I'd like something green, an even green inside, I'm very happy with. Good, 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 good. Keep this happy here. Pull it off a bit. This egg is cooking. In the meantime, I've got uh, two uh, beautiful onion bagels that I buttered that I'm gonna get a little color on. Because of course you need color. You want that texture. You want that flavor. You want that gorgeousness. But don't let them stick and burn. This egg's doing very nicely. The egg's looking perfect. Slow scrambled. The bagels, perfect. Coming along nicely. Finally, something's working for me. Okay, a little more grease around the outside. Around the outside, around the outside. We're all doing fine. Look at this beautiful kid. Oh, I'm in love. Seriously, I'm in love. Bagels, beautiful. Let's take these kids off. Okay, the egg is almost there for me. So here's what I'm gonna do. Get it in a nice little circle, and then I'm gonna put some cheese on. And I have orange cheddar, and I have yellow cheddar. Ha ha ha, nice. This egg is, look at that yolk. Oh boy. Done, coming off. The scrambled eggs, lid. Boys, let's go to the board and we build. All right, so here's how this goes down. We start with our gorgeous garlic aioli. And this is the bottom. Yes, that's the bottom. Don't be cheap, right? Never be cheap. Next up, our onions. Oh boy. Do you know how glorious this is gonna, oh my God. Dear bacon, egg, and cheese lovers, please come to my house. We think you're gonna be super happy. Or dear bacon, egg, and cheese makers, do this. We think your customers will be super happy. Next up, we go with our bacon. Let's go like this. Wow, bacon goes back here. We got a thin guy coming in the middle. Wow, like that. And now remember the cheese that we put on our other one? We're putting on this one too, of course. Okay, next we go bacon here. We go bacon here, wow. We go bacon here, and now we add our eggs. Here's our first egg. Oh my gosh, look at that. And I know it's not fair, one egg versus three. This guy goes here. Oh, marrona me. There's only one thing left, avocado. So I'm gonna put it here and give it some of this. And put this one here. Oh, come on, man. Work with me, please. Wow. We're not forgetting anything, are we? All right, I'm gonna change my mind here and move the egg because if I break the yolk and jack up the picture, Max will have a conniption and that's a real word. And that means a crying fit. Still no guarantee it won't break, but I'm gonna be very gentle. Like I'm telling you, it's, it's gonna break. Do you not want the responsibility? Nope, I don't. Those are gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to see is for the camera's benefit. This is called the poke and retreat. And there it is. Slow as gorgeous yellow molasses could possibly be. That's pretty darn purdy. Couldn't have been more perfect. I guess all your crying was for, no, for not. It was for everything. Two bacon, egg, and cheese, two different versions. Let's have a bite, shall we? Let's go to this kid. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I want everything. I love everything that this guy's about. The still 
soft, creamy egg, the avo, the gorgeous shallot and bacon with all that nonsense on it. Holy S. And this kid with the runny yolk. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I don't know. You pick your favorite. I just need a bite of one. And I'm going here. I think I'm going here. That fucking runny yolk looks amazing. I'm going here with the soft scramble. Still soft, still creamy. That's crazy ass bacon. Oh my God. It's just glistening beautiful. I just like, salivated. Like it's all squooshing out the back. Damn it. Oh my God, the onions, the garlic aioli, the bacon. Holy snap. This is a dream in my mouth. That sounds creepy, actually. Oh my God. Make this for yourself. Make this for somebody you love. Make it for the old man on uh, Father's Day. And speaking of Father's Day, I'm giving away a private five person virtual cooking class. All you have to do, all you have to do is go to my Instagram. Make your profile public. All you have to do is post a picture of yourself or somebody holding my cookbook, tag the cooking guy and hashtag Sam teach my dad to cook. I realized that was not the right way to go about this, but I'm a dad. What the fuck do I know? But you could win a private virtual class for the old man with four other people. Just us, privately, cooking, having fun. Go to my Instagram, you'll see it and do what you have to do. Or don't, I don't care. I'm just gonna stand here and eat this. See ya. Mmm.